Und damit ein herzliches Willkommen und hallo zu einem weiteren Part Let's Play Fake Grand Order. Ich bin es heute im Zimmer Fix und er spitzt sich hier immer weiter zu. Beim letzten Mal habt ihr hier nun gesehen, man sieht ihn ja schon. Sanuna steigt ihn weiter hinauf. Doch das war nicht die einzige Calamity, die wir hier bezwingen müssen. Beim letzten Mal hat sich hier unser guter Percival geopfert, damit wir seine Schwester, das letzte Fragment Albi und Melusin hier stoppen könnten, die hier zu einem Drachen geworden ist, der alles zerstören wollte. Dank Percival's Opfer konnten wir sie bezwingen und er hat ein letztes Mal den Spios Selection hergenommen und hier sie sich damit selbst geopfert. Doch das war nicht die letzte Calamity. Bevor es nun zum Kampf gegen Sanunos geht, müssen wir noch unsere Freundin Bargest, den Black Dog, bezwingen. Sie ist ja hier zu einem wahnsinnigen Monster, was auch für Proper Human History eine Gefahr geworden ist, geworden. Und wir wollen sie auffangen. Das äh, schulden wir im Endeffekt als wirklich eine der wenigen Feen, die es eigentlich verdient hatte, äh, zu entkommen. Oh, sie selbst hat sich immer als Monster gesehen. Und auch wenn ihr dieses Flug zumindest ein bisschen hier... Ähm... Okay, warte, warte, das müssen wir uns nochmal durchlesen. Ein bisschen, äh, ja, besser wurde, äh, hat das nichts daran geändert. Liebe Leute, wir müssen Basis stoppen. Sie greift hier Norwich an, wo ja theoretisch, denke ich, jetzt auch nochmal, ähm, springen sein müsste. Deswegen würde ich sagen, schon mal ein Warning. In the fourth progress note of uh, section 29 of the you will be defeated if guest 7 mesh is vanquished. <lacht> mir gerne okay gut ja wir wissen ja dass Grimmer als auch äh, Castoria hier in der Shadow Border bleiben das bedeutet wahrscheinlich darf ich nicht mal so oh bitte darf ich eine Support Castoria nehmen und äh, wir müssen es irgendwie mit mehr schaffen A curse up me, a curse up in the Fang Clan. Das ist der Moss King gewesen. One day a beast will appear among you a great black dog with a humanoid appearance and exceptional strength don't be shy Take it. Consider it your reward for banishing the king of the moors. This beast will grow in accordance with the law of the jungle. The weak are meat for the strong to eat. Survival of the fittest in the truest sense. This horrific fairy, the foulest of all creatures, will live by eating those they love. Tears spilling down her cheeks, she turned to her lover's flesh. This one wasn't part of a clan. He was a new fairy from among the forest children. He was kind, good-natured, and even stronger than her. They recognized each other's talents at a glance and fell in love at first sight. She truly loved him from the bottom of her heart, so she was sure this time would be different. <sighs> But her hunger couldn't be sated. Though she wept in self-loathing, the joy of eating, the taste of flesh in her mouth, the warmth of it sliding down her throat, always worn out. Her lover's flesh was delicious, precious and horrific. It tasted all the better because her love for him had been genuine. It had been 400 years since her birth. Thanks to her meals, mixing love, joy, grief and torment, her mind had shattered long ago. She thought about taking her own life every time she lost on her lover, but always changed her mind. It would be so easy to die, but she knew that if she did, all her dread meals would have meant nothing. Her first predation had been Duke Foulweather, she only him to keep her Britain safe. After bringing his outstanding mystic into her own flesh, she fought a calamity herself. She was naturally driven to love those who were strong. so. She could make their ability part of herself. That was what survival of the fittest meant to her. Having lived her whole life consuming those she loved, she could no longer die merely because she wanted to. Born naturally strong and raised as the clan's daughter, she knew she had a duty to fulfill the responsibility at stone. As long as people placed their trust in the child of calamity, She knew she had to fight for justice more than anyone. That pride was the only thing holding her fractured heart together. <sighs> But even that had reached its limit. No fairy so horrible could have a right to live. But just as she had pulled out her horn and was about to tearfully end her own life. Hello, who are you? Why are you cry crying? 
In the era of the High Queen, 2002, she met a sickly human child. <sighs> Manchester, I must hurry to Manchester. I must get the fairies there to Caldea. I must give Adonis at least a little more time. That day, it had been 17 years since she first met the human child. The time she spent with him was the happiest in her life. It was the first time she had ever experienced true peace and fulfillment. Though hesitant about this new love that violated her rule of only loving the strong, she also found joy in it. The human was obviously weak. She would never be tempted to eat him. Aber ich bin mir sicher, als sie ankam, sah sie denselben Schrecken, der auch in Salisbury war. Und das hat sie halt durchdrehen lassen. For someone like her, who had only eaten strong fairies, so that she might grow strong herself. This love was a palm proof that she wasn't the beast she had always dreaded. So she swore to do anything she had to, to protect this new love. She decided she would fight to protect this beautiful heart. Humans and fairies coexisted peacefully, living as equals. Even if such a thing may still be difficult for all of Britain, she thought she could at least make it happen in her own territory. The fairies of Manchester agreed and were thrilled about the idea of migrating to proper human history. It's over for Britain. Camelot is already a run with Moss, and the other cities will follow soon. Before it happens to Manchester, I need to get up my resident and bring them to the show where Caldea waits. Even if I can't go with them myself, I can at least make this a... She exits the woods, finally reaching Manchester. But there... Huh? She sees the fairies of Manchester laughing as they kill their human neighbors. Get rid of them! Get rid of them! Get rid of our old toys before we move! Tear off their limbs! Rip out the guts! It's so funny! <laughs> their first screams the be uh, best. None of the rest compare. Now kill them! Kill them! Get rid of them before Barges gets back so she doesn't find out. Barges will be furious if she finds out we've been keeping them in our shit. Barges will be jiddly if she finds out we've been killing them with the shots every day. Barges the big eater. Barges the of many laughs. If she finds out, she punches her for not letting her join the fun. What? What is this? What are you doing? She yelled at the wicked fairies of her town. They smiled and replied. What do you mean? We are just imitating you, Barges. We all know all about it. We saw you in your own mansion. We always hit and watched you. You had so much fun playing house. You read such wonderful stories. You were enjoying yourself so much every day that we decided to try imitating you. You're imitating me by killing humans. I killed a human eye. <sighs> you treated him so kindly. You cared for him so tenderly. And then you ate him. You ate her right in your manner. It was so much fun to watch, we decided to try it ourselves. And it was fun, way more fun than just watching. There's nothing more than fun killing humans. Ah! Und der Donis war auch schon lange tot. Und das war dann das Ende von dem, äh, von dem Bild, was sie sich aufgehalten hat. I've had this dream so many times. I'm crying. I'm crying while eating the remains of what used to be my lover. Having another good cry. Bartis, why don't you come over here? You don't have to stop crying. Just tell me what happened today. It's okay. I promise I never stop liking you, no matter how embarrassing it may have been. I've only eat the strong. That's why I thought there was no way I'd eat him. You know, there's nothing... Like a fun story to cheer you up in hard times. Why don't I tell you another tale of your favorite Knights of the Round Table? I tell you a story of Floatsome that drifted here as Changeling. A florid, proud and slightly somber story. A story of the brave knights you've always looked up to. But I've been broken for so, so long. 
Strong, weak, it didn't matter. There, look out at the garden. The flowers you planted have grown beautifully. And I see you planted another one for me today, so that I could enjoy them even though I can't walk. All I am is a horrible beast, a monster who only wants to eat those she loves. Going to end your life uh, to atone for your sins? I know how you feel, but let's just take it easy. You're the most truly noble of all fairies. Your ending your own life would be a tragic loss. So let's make a deal, Bardist. It's still a little too soon for you to take on the curse this morgan. I seal this memory away for you. So you're gone I'm believing he's alive. Don't worry. If things get to out, just come back to this room and you can experience this last day again like a dream. Obwohl, nee, das war nicht. Nein, 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 das war nicht. Morgen. Aber. Ah, okay. Okay, gut. Now come on, let's go. Let's go outside world. Where are more humans to eat. It'll be so much fun, even more fun than this. I just uh, know we'll be happy with all those humans to play with. You know, I've read about this in a book that arrived as Flotsam. It said creatures that do these things like are called demons. Ja, sie sahen noch mehr dämonenhaft aus als wie Fien. I knew then that I had to kill them. I was wrong. I chose to protect the wrong thing. This isle never had anything in the way of justice. <sighs> I have to take responsibility. I can't let him go to the outside world. Look everyone, Bart is smiling. She's about to do another uh, of her hilarious performance. Bart is the crybaby. Bart is crying tears of happiness. What kind of prayer are you having today? Don't be stingy. Let us try some too. I have to kill every last one of these evil creatures. Ach, Baggy. Ah, there it is again. It's all over. Not even the vault castle can keep us safe. No, which is done for. What that if we stay here? Let's make a break for it before that uh, thing threw us up like it did the city was. What about Lord Spring? Shouldn't we take him with us? Who cares about him? He chooses to haul up in the vault. He is not our lot anymore, as far as I'm concerned. Come on, I'm gonna open the door. Once we're out, head straight to the harbor. As long as we can make it to the sea, we at least won't have to worry about being burned here. Es gibt kein, kein Entkommen. Es gibt kein Entkommen. Für ganz Britannien. Jede einzelne Fee wird sterben. Jeder Mensch ist wahrscheinlich schon tot. Und die, die es noch nicht sind, werden zum Moors. Ich glaube, Spring könnte eine der letzten Fee sein, die, also Menschen sein, die noch leben. Run away, idiots. What's the point of going anywhere if I have to leave all this precious art behind? My vault castle is impertable. I spent a hundred years reinforcing the bell tower and making it the strongest tower in PR in Britain. I can stand up there any number of moths. Uh, cut it uh, out. Don't you know how dangerous that is? Who's going to restore all those precious works of art? I've been collecting if they get damaged. Nobody. That's who. Not even Mong understood their true value. It's unbelievable. The meditation in humanity can accomplish. Yes, 90% of this is worthless junk. But the other 10% miraculous. Diamonds in the rough. Some are against all odds. This country produced some of the finest works of pure art ever made. Yes, that's right. It's fine if those fairies didn't uh, see its value indeed. There would be a little uh, point in trying to explain it to those plebeians anyway. Britain's arts is mine. It's the only reason I've stayed alive all these years. My soul has been in front of this world from the moment I first wandered into it. Collecting this treasure has been uh, my reason de tra. It's mine. It can only be mine. Mine! I'd sooner see Britain burn and give up their prices vault. Damn it. Will you cut it out already? What in the world is going on out? Oh my. Oh my. Well, that's a lot of a thing. Don't I look the fool for saying I'd rather see Britain destroyed? <laughs> I can't believe I know only misjudged my clientele, but also my chance to quit while I was ahead. True, I did want a foolish puppet. I could manipulate as I pleased, but even that goes so far. There's nothing 
difficult to control as a runaway plistin. I should have known better than to look down on them. That aside, I thought Morgan or Chaldea would be the ones to destroy Britain. I never could have imagined it'd be one woman's idiot idea. All things begin with the smallest of foundations. However, they may eventually flourish. A foundation so small, even the tiniest of insects gnawing, as it can bring it all crashing down. Auf Wiedersehen, Spriggan. Und damit ist möglicherweise, ja, das letzte Wesen, was aus Britannien kommt, tot. Alright, we stuck at the landing. Now it's just a stone throw away. Hang on tight, I'm flowing it. Damn. It's over a thousand degrees out there, just like it was in Manchester. There's a ton of black dogs out there too. Before we get there, Maxi, let me just remind you of what Holmes said. From what we know of our past battle with barges and what we saw here in Manchester. It's safe to assume she can absorb uh, the life force of any human with low magic energy resistance who gets closer to her. So, this time you need to stay behind in the shadow border and summon your servants remotely. Barges has a magic energy consumption has one kilometer radius, so it'll be the greatest distance you ever summoned from. According to a Nemo professor calculation, you can only summon the one shadow servant, two if uh, you really push your limits. While you're on the subject, Nemo nurse also said to tell you that you'll seriously regret if you try to summon two. I know, but I'm still going to support Mesh with everything I can. Thank you, Master. Yeah, that's about what I thought you'd say. Don't worry, I take the heat from Nurse right here with you. Whoop, there's the high density magic energy signal we were expecting. It's six kilometers at, right in the center of Norwich. Here's the feed from the telescope. Let's see what Bartis looks like. Ah! The Beast of Calamity. She's over 40 meters tall and she's actually eating that lightning. We need to storm to even stand a chance to get monster like that. Are you guys sure you want to do this? It's not too late to turn around, you know? Even Holmes said if worse comes to rest, we don't have to fight her. I'm sure. Please keep going. Please let me go to her. There's nothing to be afraid of. The old barges was much stronger. Seriously? Damn, this barge sounds like the hell of a girl. Have fun. You sure about this too, right, Maxi? Cause we are coming up to a point and I'll return real fast. Leute, ich hab 2000 Sequels für sie ausgegeben, Leute. Wir, äh, egal was es kostet. Wir werden es schon schaffen. I'm sure, just to be careful out there, wenn schon ihm ganz schön geklappt hat. <laughs> I'm a master. Opening the hatch and casting like an enhancement spell. Now, here you go. Süßer kleiner Hundi. Ähm, wie viel Hundefutter brauchen wir, um sie damit, keine Ahnung, um, ja, down zu kriegen. Okay, Leute. Grand Archer und Koyan. Grand Archer, zack. Und. Uh, was machen wir, was machen wir? Puh, gute Frage. Geben wir eine Starbomb? Nein, wir geben 2030. Kann. Aber ich darf immer einen Befehlszauber raus haben. Mesh, du sollst eigentlich nur in der Ecke stehen und äh, du weißt schon entspannt in der Gegend rausschauen. Das, wär, das würde mir schon gut helfen. Boah! Leute, das ist so furchtbar, Mann. Okay, 3 Server gegen verdammt nochmal eine Bestie. Eine verdammt nochmal Bardes. Und äh, der Satz war nett. Sie ist, das ist ihre schwache Form. Na gut, Leute. Zeit aufzuräumen, Leute. Und hoffen, dass wir nicht gefressen werden. Fatal Battle! Calamity of the Beast Tamlin Gavain Badest Oh cool NPC What? Okay schön, dass es das auch unendlich ist scheinbar Ja natürlich sehr gut Das ist echt sehr gut Ihr könnt mich so gerne haben Ihr könnt mich alle so gerne haben Gab nicht, ich brauche ein Peace um zu kämpfen Hey, man, fucking no more super run! Grand Archer, baby! Boom! 
Brum! Wir brauchen doch gar den Peace, Mann. Komm! Komm her! Okay, noch nicht. Hall of Routine. Ah! 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 Okay, vielleicht doch. Hilfe! Alter! Alter! Ja! Ja! Nein! Ja, was machen wir jetzt? Game Over gehen. Alter! Was? Und was machen wir jetzt? Nein! Ja! Keine Ahnung, Mann! Alle sterben! Okay, wir sterben, wenn Mesh stirbt. Yo, das könnte schwer werden. Alright! Nein! Nicht mal Grand Archer hat ja eine Chance gegen dieses Monster, Mann! Einfach diese scheiß -Kill. Ja! Ja, ein Leben, sehr gut. Und sie frisst und frisst und frisst und wird stärker. Jo, lief gut. <lacht> ich habe mir das Leichte vorgestellt. Okay, gut. Das, äh, zum Glück wurden wir gewarnt, dass Mesh nicht sterben darf. Ansonsten hätte ich jetzt hier ein Problem gehabt. Leute, Mann. Das wird übel, das wird richtig übel. Aber wir machen jetzt hier in diesem Part ein bisschen kürzer, liebe Leute, denn beim nächsten Mal wird es dann umso heißer hergehen. Also es ist Zeit, dass wir den Hund bändigen, liebe Leute. Zeit, dafür zu sorgen, dass äh, Bargest hier ihren verdienten Frieden bekommt. Bis zum nächsten Mal, haut rein, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen.